Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today I have a little bit of a different video because I wanted to start doing BoxyCharm unboxings from a consumer standpoint because obviously I'm a consumer. I pay out of my pocket every month for this bag go right here. So I wanna share with you all my thoughts and opinions on each box that I get of the base box every month. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what I think of this month's BoxyCharm, then go ahead and keep on watching. So you all know I love BoxyCharm so, so much and I figured I was like, you know what, why don't I just start doing BoxyCharm unboxings here on my channel from a consumer standpoint and from a non-influencer biased paid promotion standpoint. Because if you think about it, all of the influencers who do these um, unboxings, they're probably getting paid by BoxyCharm. There's nothing wrong with that. Get your bag, sis. But I am someone who pays out of pocket for the base box. So go ahead and go to BoxyCharm's website if you are interested. They have three different boxes. They have the base, they have the premium, they have Boxy Lux. I only have the base box because I used to have all three and it was just getting really unnecessary. So enough of the blabbering, let's get into the products. So the first one I have right here is from Eloise and it says it's a Get Gleaming Body Glow. So it comes in this really, really pretty like rose gold packaging. Um, and I guess it basically is a luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body, your cheekbones, shoulders, neckline, collarbones, legs, and arms for a gleaming glow. So girl, this is probably good for summertime. You can use our unique brushes to seamlessly buff the highlighter onto your face and body. I do not have that. Um, what should I use this for? Should I use it first? Well, let me unbox it for you guys. It has tape on it. Give me one second. This one is in the color Champagne Rich. I have a couple, I want to say I have a couple of makeup products from Eloise, but they're not someone that I like go and shop for. Like, oh my God, girl, did you get that Eloise? Like, it's not like that. Like, I'm like not really like, I don't have like a lot of Eloise products here. Um, in my collection. Oh my God, I cannot open this. This brand says it's vegan and it's cruelty free. I actually like the idea of this for the summertime. Ooh, this is really pretty. This looks super, super luxe, you guys. This is going to be really, really, really nice. So let's wait to use this. I want to use this first. So here I have in my little box. Oh my God, I'm trying to take my box tip over right here. I have from Studio Makeup a tinted moisturizer that is formulated with hyaluronic acid. This is for a hydrating, firming, and youthful effect. And bitch, don't we love that? Um, it says shake well, so I'm just gonna shake it in here. This is what it looks like. I have never heard of this brand before. That's why I like BoxyCharm is I get to like experiment with like different brands and I get to see like what they're all about. It looks like a lotion, um, but let's go ahead and unbox it. <laughs> unbox it, oh God. No smell. So I think I'm gonna take a brush to put this on just because I don't wanna use my monos. So let's see. Ooh. And it's kind of like my color of my skin. It doesn't have a scent. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. Now I don't really use tinted moisturizers, but I'm thinking that for the summertime, um, I'll be getting into more of like tinted moisturizers. Toy t oh my God, I can't talk. Tinted moisturizer, BB creams, CC creams. Um, just more like natural kind of like stuff, you know? Uh, because the summertime is definitely not the time to pound on your makeup. And that's the time where I go a little bit more natural. Um, even down to my lashes. So stay tuned for some like summer videos. Some like summer lash videos okay so this is kind of just like it gives the skin like an overall glow at least on my skin um again i don't really use tinted moisturizers let me know down below if you do um but i really like it so far i think this is going to be a good product for like you know the summertime maybe to put it underneath like a light foundation i like the glow I don't like too much glow because bitch, then I'll start looking like real oily. But what I want to do now is I do this with a couple of my other products that are a little bit similar to this one. Dude, this is such pretty packaging by Eloise. I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Let's see how much pumps out. Not really a smell. And I like to just put it on my cheekbones. So let's see what happens if we do that. Because I like to have a glow on my cheekbones. Are you guys seeing that? That's pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. This is going to definitely be like a go-to, like for the summertime, especially like I consider 
Let me know if you guys are the same. I consider May, June, July, August summertime. I don't care what summertime says the date that she starts. I consider like the spring, February to April. Summer is going to be for me, May to August. And then bitch, once September hits fall, once November hits winter. So that is just my little clock in terms of seasons, but I do really like this. Let's put it on the decolletage, but basically it literally like collarbones. So let's see. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, very, very nice. Ooh, so this is very like a summer, like 4th of July, like I'm in my backyard having barbecues like vibe I look super effing shiny like we need to get we need to move on let's move on so then I got this it's from Terre de Mars I hope I'm it's probably French I'm saying it like all effed up and like in an American way um this looks like it's a body cleanser I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use something like this I will try it out in the shower I have very sensitive skin so everything that I use has to be hypoallergenic um can't really smell like a scent right now, but um, yeah, we'll have to give this a go at a different time. So th that's the only thing I'm a little bit hesitant on with BoxyCharm is when they send me like stuff for my body like that. Um, I'm not someone who can really use stuff like that because I'm just very, very sensitive. Okay, so we're back looking oily and white like Casper. Like I look crazy right now, but the only reason I look crazy is because I did add some concealer onto the eyes because we're going to move to the next thing that I got in my boxy charm, which I'm super stoked about. It's a Natasha Denona. It's It looks like this is the Ayana palette. Bitch, this one is so freaking pretty. Like, oh my God. So let me see if I have it right here. I got this one. Actually, did I get it? No. Oh my God. So my sisters got this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette in one of their boxy charms, and I was pissed because I didn't get it. What's cool though is like I have two sisters, so whatever they don't want in their boxy charms, they give to me. I love this palette. I use it all the time. It's the Peak palette. So I was super stoked when I saw that. I got another one of their minis in more neutral shades. I feel like these are my shades. They just look better on my skin tone, on my eyes. So, oh, I am so stoked. So we're gonna create a quick look using these. Um, I will try to use all of the colors in here. You guys know that, you know, I don't really do much like eyeshadow palette, like kind of reviews here on my channel. We do lash reviews. That is what we just, we do up in this bitch. Um, but be, I want to start doing these BoxyCharm unboxings with you guys because you guys know I don't, I don't shut up about BoxyCharm. So the first color we're going to use is right here. It is in the color Harlow. Now, let me know your guys' um, opinions on Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. So for me, they are so good. Like you guys, so good. I absolutely love these little palettes. However, you will ever, you will never, ever catch me paying the retail price of these palettes at Sephora online, you know, wherever Miss Denona is sold. Girl, I am not about to spend a hundred plus dollars on on these palettes and even her bigger palettes. Like I get it. Like hers are, I mean, her palettes are really good quality. Like you guys, this other palette that I have the peak one, um, the shadows last all day. Um, they don't budge, they don't move. Um, and I use concealer, um, as my base. And I just absolutely love how her shadows have just such great quality, but for me, it's just the pricing. It doesn't make sense. I can't justify it. You guys know I like to justify pricing and everything. And even if something is expensive, if I can justify it, then I will tell you guys, you know, I recommend you go and get it. It's totally worth your money. But for a palette this small, um, I wouldn't pay the normal retail price that these do retail at, which is why I love BoxyCharm so much. You are able to get access to really high quality um, skincare, hair care, makeup, makeup brushes, um, and you just pay that monthly um, subscription fee. And to me, it's worth it. Like I, if even if you're on a budget, um, I still recommend subscribing to BoxyCharm's Base Box because again, it is only 20 bucks a month. If 20 bucks is something that you cannot sacrifice, then don't do it, girl. Just like wait till you're at a, a position with your finances where you totally can subscribe. But I mean, you get like Natasha Denona for God's sake, like come on, like you can't get any better than that. 
Um, so next I'm going to take the color Lash Line, which is this one right here. It's kind of like a coffee color. I feel like this is going to be like my new like go-to like everyday little palette if I'm ever in like a rush. But let me know what your guys' thoughts on Natasha Denona are. Are you guys the type to go and splurge and spend money on eyeshadow palettes? Because I, I did recommend to you guys the Visart palettes, which are about $89. But in my opinion, those ones were super worth it um, because of the quality. And if you're someone who doesn't want a large makeup collection, it's going to be, and that palette would be your go-to palette every day, then I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's just for something like this small and for Natasha Denona's prices of like what it, I think it's like 100, 125, um, however much she charges for her palettes. To me, it just doesn't make sense. By the way, my eyeshadow looks all over the place in the beginning, but then it all comes together when um, we get towards the end of the look. But yeah, let me know you guys. Um, if you splurge on Miss Denona, if you're like me and you wait till you get her in a boxy charm and then that's when you get all excited like me. Um, because that's when I truly get to try out like, you know, products that I would, I would not pay for. So pigmented. I love it. Okay. So I am wearing like a green top. You guys notice I wear off the shoulder tops all the time. I love hoop earrings. I stopped wearing them. I don't know why. So I think this is going to be like my look on my channel. I'm gonna stay wearing my hair back so you guys can see the full scope with my little earrings and off the shoulder top. It's just my vibe. I usually have really like long, big curly hair outside of YouTube and my channel, I my hair is usually all done, but I just like the way like, I don't know. I just feel like you could see more when my hair is back, right? Like I don't wanna have to do a different hairstyle every time I film, that's exhausting. A bitch is lazy like that when I'm filming. Um, but anyways, let's take this color satin skin. I don't know if you guys can pick up, it's like a shimmer. Really, really pretty. I'm not going to wet my brush. Um, I'm just going to tap it in and we'll just go ahead and place it because we're gonna go for like kind of like a natural-ish look today. Not, you know, not going anywhere. So we still wanna be cute, right? Vibes all 2021 still. Even if you're vaccinated, ooh, that's pretty. By the way, this video might feel like all over the place and that's because I haven't done like, I'm used, I'm used to like my routine of like my lash videos and not like, you know, these types of videos. So it might just be all over the place. I'll get better. Now I'm gonna dip into that like green sparkle shade. It's kind of like a silvery green. I'm just gonna use that towards the center. See, I love like with Natasha Denona palettes, like you can get like a smoky, like grungy look with these type of colors. And you can also like use this palette just for like an everyday. So if you just want like that look where you have bronzer in the eye, you could use like these two colors. If you want something where you look like shimmery and glowy, you could use like the sparkles. You could definitely use this as like an eyeliner. We're gonna use that for the bottom of the eyes. But so far we have used um, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four. Math is hard, right? Four colors. So um, what we're going to do next is there is no other products for like makeup products. There are lashes, which we will get to the end. You guys know I'm very critical of lashes because we do so many lash reviews here on my channel. But I want to see how my normal makeup routine works with this. Um, what were they again? Girls, talk about short term memory. Um, this tinted moisturizer and that like all over like glow look. So um, let's do... Uh, foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to use, of course, I have this boxy charm brush that I got. I'm going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal Plus Perfect Foundation. I am in the color Creamy Natural 02A. We're going to go ahead and just like stamp this. Lately, I've been into like using a lot of, like not a lot of concealer, but using um mainly concealer on my face and a little bit of foundation. And I feel like it just gives me like a really clean finish where like I don't get like too oily throughout the day but now that it's getting hot 
I don't know if I like want to change up my routine or not. So we're just going to go with like my normal foundation routine that I've been doing like on a daily. So the only thing I don't like so far um, with that tinted moisturizer underneath and maybe I wasn't supposed to use it under my foundation, but in person, like my skin just looks a mess. Like it just looks too wet, too glowy. Um, so let's take a matte concealer. We are going to take the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camel concealer um, in the color light peach. And I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face. Basically, you guys know the trend now. It's basically, let's give ourselves a lifted look apply our concealer in the highest points of our face to give us a very lifted fake surgery look. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm going to do is just set my face using my milk makeup powder and then I'm going to bronze. I will zoom through this as well and then we will move on um, to finishing the eyes and then testing out those eyelashes that came in the charm. So when I did the face makeup, I zoomed that through because honestly, it's just like super boring. But I want to talk about a couple of thoughts and opinions before we move on to doing the bottom of the eyes and then the lashes that we got here. Um, and so I don't really like how my face makeup looks. I want you guys to see um, my face looks very like textured. I feel like you could still see like the original coloring of my skin underneath the makeup. And I want to say it's because... I want to say you don't put a tinted moisturizer underneath your foundation and your concealer. Again, I am new to the tinted moisturizer game. I usually only use those types of products in the summertime. So it is, it's been quite some time since I've used very light products on my face. Um, so I like the tinted moisturizer by itself, maybe as just something to put on. Um, but I don't like what it does to my foundation, my concealer. I just feel like, I don't know, it just, it's a little much. I love how the decolletage, the collarbones, the shoulders look. I think it gives me like a little sexy, shiny appeal. Um, I love the eyeshadow, you guys. It is so pretty. Again, you get like a very like grungy, like neutral, smoky eye. Um, I really, really, really love the palette. So let's go ahead and finish up the eyes. Now, um, we're going to take that darker color, which I want to say is cold. Oh wait, this one's Lash Line. Just to let you guys know, this one was called Crease, this one's called Lash Line. What a hot mess. They have the names on the back of it, kind of literally like a hot mess. Um, so I'm just gonna take like a rounded brush and we're just gonna lightly dip into that brown. These are very, very pigmented. So, um, and sorry, I put my head down when I put on the bottom eyelid shadow. So. Um, sorry, I'm not lifting up my head so you guys can really see, but you guys get the vibes. So I like to just pack this in and I'll show you guys what I do to kind of just like smooth it out. And this is just to like frame my eye shape. I really like the way darker shadows look on the bottom of the eye, like basically a reversed smoky eye is really nice. You know, I haven't done a smoky eye in quite some time. Maybe I should before like it gets too hot and then smoky eyes just become unnecessary because I feel like smoky eyes are just more like towards um, fall winter time. So I take the brush that I use my shadow with and I just go ahead and blenderoo, 
blend it out. You guys could see the difference. It looks a lot more blended than this side. This side looks really, really harsh. And then this gives you that blended, like seamless effect where it just like, it looks like everything is just meant to be there. Honestly, this Natasha Denona palette is going to be like my new fave, like everyday palette. I love it so, so much. Let's get on with the last product, which I get excited when I get lashes and BoxyCharm, but then I don't because they're usually just like not cute. These are from Flirtati Flirtatious Looks. Um, it looks like they might have two Instagrams for Flirtatious Looks and Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics. This is what they look like, you guys. Um, these are not my type of lashes. These to me look like those Halloween lashes that would come out at Rite Aid back in the day. And then um, this is what we used to have before Lily Lashes, Batty B Lashes, before like really Kiss stepped it up, Elf stepped it up, everyone else stepped it up. I do like that it does come with an eyelash applicator. I don't really use them, but for those of you who do, you might like it. Um, does it say what kind of lash? It doesn't, but at least it says that they're handmade and they're cruelty free. We love handmade. We love cruelty free. These are two different lashes. These ones up here are bigger. I'm sorry. These ones up here are smaller. These ones up here are a little bit longer. So I'll put this one on the left eye, this one on the right eye. So let's go ahead and trim her down. Um, let me show you guys what the top lash looks like outside of the box. So the hairs are very shiny. They look really cheap. I would not recommend these to you guys so far. You guys can see that at least the band is pretty flexible, but let's not speak too soon because sometimes I'd be speaking too soon and then I end up liking how it looks. But let's go ahead, add some glue to this one. And then we'll let that glue dry a little bit. You'll, again, you always want to have your glue a little bit tacky. Um, and then let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the bottom lash, which is what I'll put on the right eye. So this one is still shiny. It's a little bit bigger, black band, very, very flexible. Um, I don't know, you guys. I just feel like we've graduated with lashes where we're just in the day and age now. We're like... They need to either be silk or they need to be mink cruelty free or faux mink. Um, of course, all cruelty free. Um, but I think we're just past the days of where lashes legit look like plastic. Um, I don't, I don't know anyone who shops for these types of lashes anymore. Um, just because you can get such good lashes out there now for so cheap. Um, but hey, at least this one went on pretty darn easy. Band is a little stiff. Hmm, okay. That one on. Now this one right here is going to be bigger. Oh God. That would be cool though, you guys, if in a boxy charm we did get like a lily lash. Or Batty B Lash. Oh, by the way, in my previous video, I talked about how Batty B Lashes didn't come out and say that they're in Walmart. And they have finally come out and said that they are in Walmart. So I'm really thinking of maybe going to Walmart, purchasing them, and then seeing if they're any different in terms of quality. And Lily Lashes is at Target now, in case you guys did not know. But they have partnered up with Target. Which is smart, honestly. Good for Lily. Good for Jenny, whether you like them or not. Those are such smart money moves because not everyone follows them on social media, but there there are people who go into the drugstore or the stores to get lashes and they may not know who they are. And it's just like, you know, an extra way for them not to make money is they're going to get that audience who um, just doesn't know who they are, sees, you know, nice looking lashes, a little expensive for the price, but I mean, hey, it's an extra consumer they gained. Okay, you guys. Lord. Okay, so here's the left eye that has a smaller lash and then the right eye, which has the bigger lash. Um, this is what they look like from the side. So you guys can see the protrusion, basically how the lashes curl and look to the side. Um, you know what? Sur surprisingly, they don't look that bad, to be honest with you. Um, this one just looks like it gives your lashes like a little bit of like a wing effect. This one I feel like does really nothing for my eye shape. The lash hairs are basically all the same size. So it just looks like a bush of lashes on top of my right eye. I'm not really a fan of that. But honestly, they don't look as plastic on your eyes as they do in the packaging. So I can appreciate that. However, um, I wouldn't encourage you guys to get these lashes. I'm not sure what their normal retail price is. What I'll do is I will um, put down below the retail price of all these products. Usually I have like 
like that BoxyCharm card, but I don't know where it went. And I really want these BoxyCharm unboxings to feel like you guys, again, are right here. It may be a hot mess. Things may not be as structured as other videos, but I just want it to feel more real and more vibey and more like, oh my God, like, you know, she really is trying on the products with us. But um, let me know what you guys think of flirtatious lashes. I would not purchase these. I wouldn't recommend them. I probably won't even wear these again. So with that being said, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. Um, but anyways, I really enjoyed April's BoxyCharm. I cannot wait for May. I enjoy all my BoxyCharms, whether I get products that I don't like or not. For example, I hate these lashes. Hate's a strong word, but you guys know I have a lot of lash reviews on here, so I know what was good and was not. Um, but I don't really like these lashes. Um, just because I don't like one product in the subscription doesn't mean that I'm going to trash BoxyCharm. I do see they get a lot of hate comments, a lot of people just complaining about any basically everything that they get in their box, rightfully so. It's their money, they work hard for it. For me, I see it as um, BoxyCharm is not a necessity, it's a luxury. Yes, it's $20, and if you have the money for that extra $20 a month, go ahead and subscribe, but be aware that you're not gonna always get something that you like, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and that's why they give you guys so many things to try. And I think because I understand that, and I understand that they're such a big company that they're not just gonna be able to customize a box for you that you specifically want and like, you're not gonna be able to read your mind no matter how many quizzes you do, no matter how many things you fill out on their site. Um, you're gonna get a product you don't like. Like how would they know that I don't like shiny lashes that look like this? Well, I didn't really tell them, but I mean, they still got sent to me, you feel me? Um, but anyways, I really did like this box. I will continue to do these, um, whether you guys like them or not, they are fun for me. I know that there's probably people out there who really wonder from a consumer standpoint if it's worth it or not. If there is a box that I think that is just not worth it, I will let you guys know. I have gone a few boxes in the past where I'm like, dude, that was like the worst month ever. Um, but anyways, I hope that you all found this video very informative please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe ugh, make sure you subscribe to my channel click that bell to so get notified of every time that I do upload a video please still wear your mask and always spread peace love and happiness I will see you all in my next video